All right, here we go. Question number 16 in our college algebra, homework number three. In my lab math, says to find the zeros of the function, give exact answers and approximate solutions, rounded to three decimal places when possible. So what they've given me is a quadratic. Notice that it is in standard form. It is equal to zero. And so up here in the right-hand corner, we're going to show how to work that out. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, remind you that since this is in standard form and the trinomial is in descending order, then our letters are in alphabetical order. So we've got our A, B, and C. And what we're going to do with those is we're going to plug and play into the quadratic formula. And so, just a reminder, here is the quadratic formula in song. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And with our quadratic formula, we're going to take our values for a, b, and c, and we're going to plug and play. Here we go. Negative b, did you see that b is already negative, so the formula has a minus, and the b has a minus, so two negatives make a positive. That'll be positive 3 plus or minus square root of b squared. Now, if you take a negative number and square it, that's going to make it positive. So that's positive 9 minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 7, all over 2 times a, which is 3. And the next step is we want to take our calculator and calculate the radicand. The radicand is the stuff under the square root. And plugging that into the calculator, we've got 9 minus 4 times 3 times negative 7, and that is 93. So we've got 3 plus or minus square root of 93 all over 6. And I don't think that the square root of 93 is going to simplify. Yeah, I've got the Casio FX115ES+, Plus, which you can type square root of 93 into the calculator, and it will give you square root of 93 if it won't break down is kind of cool. All right, so these are our answers. Now let's see how do we put those into my lab math correctly. Well, we're going to start with a fraction. We're going to say 3 plus. We're going to pick our square root, 93. Click in the bottom, 6. And then we need a comma and another fraction, 3 minus square root 93 6 fingers crossed man okay now that we have our solutions uh, in radical form these are the exact solutions now it wants the approximate solutions to three decimal places and the way we're going to do this is we're going to input each one of these fractions into the calculator and when I say the calculator, I mean the Casio FX 115 ES Plus. And so entering 3 plus the square root of 93 all over 6 gives us 2.107. And notice it does say to round to three decimal places, which is what I've done. The other solution, if you input into the Casio, uh, we'll give negative 1.107 and that's how you get the approximate solutions there. So if you have any questions or comments about how to go from the exact to the approximate or about how to solve using the quadratic formula, if you have any questions, leave uh, a question in the comment section below. 
uh, or you can text me. And uh, thanks for watching.